SPF bug. <laughs> I may be vegan, but I hate certain bugs. What is this thing? Okay, bye. Hey everybody, it's Connor. So I thought I'd do a really quick video. Um, we just received a heat advisory for the area where I live. And I know if there's a heat advisory in Ohio, I cannot imagine what it's like in a place where it actually gets hot. So I thought I'd come on and give you guys um, some healthy, holistic, totally vegan, beneficial ways to beat the heat. Stay healthy in the weather um, and just have ways to keep having fun but stay cool and stay whole. The number one thing that I feel that anybody would think of but um, or that everyone is actually thinking of is staying hydrated. So like water, keeping water around you at all times. Um, it really doesn't matter. I'm not a fan of ice cold water. Um, ice cold water actually sends a shock to your system. Um, the inside of you is hot. It's actually really hot. That's why your body temperature is constantly at like 98.6. Is because the inside of you is very warm. Your stomach acid is very warm. So when you're drinking water and ice cold water, it's sending a shock to your system. Um, a lot of people think it's a great way to lose weight because it revs up your metabolism again to get back to that temperature that it was before, before it got the shock. But that shock can also harm you, especially if you're doing it over and over and over and over again with constant ice water. Um, it can actually slow down your system. Yeah, you'll lose weight, but your, your organs won't function as properly as they were before. So, I suggest refrigerating water. That's what we do now. Um, just keeping water in the fridge. Get used to that level of coolness and uh, just forget about ice. What ice? I mean, it's fun. It's fun. It's nice to have every now and again. Um, just not every time you drink something, don't put ice in it. Even when it's warm outside. Um, that's why you know there's a lot of uh, warm countries where spicy foods are really popular. It's because that warmth. So when you drink room temperature water it's actually helping your body regulate you actually become cooler it's like when you sweat and you become cooler that's the whole that's the whole method to the madness um, another thing that I suggest is drinking green tea or herbal teas green tea specifically only because it hydrates you better than plain water okay and it's really good for you it's got that little kick of caffeine to help you get through the day um, green tea is really good for everything. It's good for your breath, it's good for your teeth, it's good for your bones, it's good for your blood, it's good for your organs, uh, it's good for your brain, cognitive skills, it's good for everything. And it's delicious. I drink unsweetened tea whenever I can, especially when I'm at home, when I'm out at restaurants, I always ask for unsweetened tea. Uh, it's usually like, I don't like saying treats, but, you know, it's a thing when I have sweetened tea. It's like, ooh, sweetened tea. Um, if you do sweeten your tea, I like to sweeten my tea with coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is the dried sap of um, like coconut nectar and it's a great replacement because it's the sugar that still has enzymes, not enzymes, vitamins and nutrients in it. It's got magnesium and zinc and iron, all these things still in the sugar. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. Next thing, I know I spoke about food. Spicy foods, yes. Eat those peppers. Eat ginger. Um, ginger and peppers are the one number one things that I suggest to eat when it's really hot outside because it helps to flush out the system. If you consume something like cayenne, just be forewarned that your appetite is going to reduce a bit. Um, that's what a lot of people do to help them lose weight is consume cayenne. It's like with the master cleanse and it's got what the maple syrup, the lemon juice, and the cayenne pepper that's the reason why that cayenne pepper is that appetite suppressant and a lot of the times in the heat it's good not to eat a lot because that can mess with your digestion it's so hot outside compared with the heat inside of you it's good to be light um, it's good to be less full than you usually would like say in the winter time or in the autumn so that's good another thing I like to do is to consume a lot of fruit I am a high carb vegan anyhow and high raw and so I consume 
a lot of fruit anyway on a daily basis fruit is great fruit is like perfect fuel especially when it's hot outside it's water rich it's got vitamins and minerals and it's sweet it's got the carbohydrates that are going to keep you going you're not going to feel that drained you know how heat can drain you it's so hot all you want to do is sleep or all you want to do is just you know lay down or sit down in front of a fan or something fruit is going to help you stay hydrated and keep you going even if you're not going to be outside you can be inside and you can feel good so grapes are great because they're easy, you can just pick them, everybody loves grapes. I mean, I've met like two people in my life who don't like grapes, so I mean, if you don't like grapes, comment down below and tell me why. Why don't you like grapes? <laughs> grapes are delicious. So the next thing that you want to do to help beat the heat is actually oils. If you're going to be out there in the sun, make sure you are oiled up and protected and ready to go, especially for... Um, with your hair, especially natural hair, natural black hair, heat likes to strip our hair and that's why you want to make sure you have a lot of oils on deck. Now for my face, I like to use macadamia oil. You can't see it because of the price tag. I got this for a dollar, a dollar. Can you believe that? This is the oil pressed from macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts are those little white nuts that you see in like macadamia and white chocolate chip cookies. Expensive nut, expensive oil, but I got this for a dollar. Um, this is great for your face. I put it on my face. Um, carrot seed oil, let me see, shea butter. I have this little thing, I always keep my shea butter in glass jars. Um, just so it doesn't absorb what's in the plastic. You know how you see shea butter in plastic? I transfer, if I buy it in that form, I transfer it um, into a glass jar so it'll stop absorbing things from the plastic, especially when it gets hot, um, and I transfer it to a jar. Or I buy it whole form and I just put it in a glass jar. But this is great natural SPF. Coconut oil is actually a great natural SPF as well, if you're feeling uneasy and you want to use an SPF, look for an SPF that doesn't have aluminum in it, that doesn't have titanium oxide in it. Look for a good, holistic, healthy SPF. I know some people are probably going to ask, well, what do I use? I rarely use SPF, if I can be honest. Um, and I get my skin checked frequently, and my skin is healthy. Um, the oils, the butter combined with the shea butter combined with the diet that I eat if you eat an alkaline diet a whole food plant-based alkaline diet your body is gonna help take care of that son our ancestors didn't have SPF and yes I understand because of ozone layers and all that jazz that our ancestors had a different atmosphere and they were in a different Sun than we are but it's still that's still in our DNA. <laughs> it's, still in our, it's still in our DNA to survive within the sun. We are people of color. We are people of the sun. It is why we are of color. It's so we can survive in the sun. And these are the ways that we can do that. So for our hair, um, I use hemp seed oil. Now this is has a fragrance in it called Nag Champa, and I use that because Nag Champa is an incense used for purification, um, and it's not just like spiritually, but it actually does purify the air in your home or wherever you use it in your car. I use it in the car. I use it in my house. Um, I spray this on my hair, so um, I get the hemp seed oil, and then there's uh, what is this? Avocado oil, apricot oil coconut oil, vitamin E, and jojoba. You can actually use this all over your body and this is great. The coconut, the jojoba, and the vitamin E, and especially the apricot seed, the apricot kernel oil are great for natural SPS as well. So I'll use this all over. And you smell good and it's hot outside so you know your, the smell is permeating on your skin and, um, and you're getting all the benefits from your skin being moisturized and nourished and being rebuilt, especially from damage, like if you're an athlete and you're running in the heat and in the sun, um, this will help repair your skin and also help repair your hair. And it gives it a good shine. I tend to see a really good shine when I go out in the sun with this oil. Another thing that I like to keep close, white linens. This has been since I was small. We always kept white linens around us wherever we went. Um, when you're sweating, maybe you'll have like excess oils on you. You can always like dab during the day. <laughs> dab. You can dab your face during the day 
uh, make sure you know that there's not too much sweat going on on you now I love like sweating sweating is honestly a great detoxer I don't like sweating when I'm sitting in the house you know what I mean and I'm not doing anything and it's just so hot that I'm sweating but I understand the purpose of sweating and I actually love the process of it because it's getting rid of all the detoxes and it's my body coping with the temperature and helping me to cool down and that's what I think a lot of people need to understand like when you sweat or when you smell or all these other things this is your body helping you this is your body aiding you in the process of keeping you alive so I appreciate my body I think that's what a lot of people need to begin doing is loving their body for all that it does without us asking and without us thinking we don't think about oh it's hot I need to regulate my temperature let me start sweating let me open my sweat glands and just pour everything out or I'm super toxic I need to just sweat it out or I need to throw up your body does that automatically for you and that's an amazing and amazing thing um, that I feel like a lot of people don't process that I write that a lot in my gratitude journal that I'm that I'm grateful for my body and the process that God has just instilled in it it's, it's a perfect machine on its own you know so yep the uh, only thing we can do is help it out even a little more especially in these times when we've lost ways of how to eat healthy and to be nutritious it's always great just to push it a little further so those are my tips to help you guys stay cool in the heat and that's about that's about all I got that's about all I got these are some of the things I do especially that I'm currently doing now because it's hot it's 92 degrees here and there's a heat index and it makes it feel like it's a hundred so, yeah, if you're in the Ohio area and you see this video either today or tomorrow because the advisory is going to be for two days, please stay cool. Stay in the shade. Stay downwind when you feel a breeze, um, especially if you don't have air conditioning. Um, well, it's actually not a heat advisory just for Ohio. It's actually for the whole entire nation. <laughs> so stay cool you guys stay hydrated another thing that's great put key lime juice in your water the brand of key lime juice that I use is actually in my detox retox video so check that out a lot of the things in that detox retox video are also great for the heat so please check that out um, and comment what you will if you have any questions but yes putting things in your water so you can drink it especially if you don't like water and you want to flavor it up lemon and lime are the best things if you can't find key limes in your area you can definitely find key lime juice i find mine at whole foods um or ask your you know neighborhood health store if they'll ship some to you or buy it online um ask a friend around you things of that nature i'm actually trying to support more black businesses these days so i go to the neighborhood health store or um we'll just try to buy it online and that's it most of these things I got from a black owned store because that's just my mission now is to support black business um, in any and every way that I can. And I suggest that you all do that as well. Um, if that is your choice, it's all about nation building. All this is a part of loving ourselves and radically loving our people in a new and elevated way. So we're gonna get started on we're getting started on that. We're getting there. All right, you guys, that's it for me. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Conrezy Beats, on Tumblr at passporttopangea.tumblr.com. Subscribe to this channel, please. Everything will be down in the comments below, all of my links. And that's it. That's all. If you're in the Cleveland area, check out my Instagram. I do have a business email. If you have any business inquiries, please shoot me a note and let me know. All right, you guys, so remember all of this is about reducing the ego, reducing the ego. The ego is us, the ego is you, just you, I. Ego is literally I in Latin. And embracing the ego, which is all of us and everything. Veganism is about embracing the ego. And that's the entire planet with us, people, <laughs> plants, and animals, and everything else on it. All right, you guys. Love and balance.